Hey guys, head on over to nastynails.com slash nail art. There you can find nail art kits available for purchase with everything you'll need to recreate this design. Also, be sure to enter the promo code GETNAILED at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Okay, so I've already painted my nails with this base color. It is SE Cascade Cool, and I have left this nail blank. So what I'm going to do is get this nail polish striper in black, get a little bit on your brush, and paint diagonal lines going across your nail. And then go in the other direction. So we're going to let that one dry for a little bit and go on to this nail. Um, you're going to get this nail art pen and what I usually do is get a little piece of paper and just kind of draw it on there just to make sure it's working first. And I'm going to paint little swirls. And with this one, you're not going to want to put a top coat on right away so definitely let this dry for at least 10 minutes or so before you start um, doing anything. And now I've got these little pot, this little pot of glitter and just put a little bit down. And you're going to get your top coat and a toothpick and just put a little bit on a piece of paper. and dip your toothpick in it and just pick up one of the glitters and dip it back in this top coat and you're going to press it on where these lines intersect on your nail And then on your pinky, you're going to do that same exact technique, except you're going to get the glitter and just border it around your nail. So I finished this nail and using that same exact technique sort of thing, I'm going to do it on my middle finger and it's going to be a glitter gradient. So there's going to be more glitter at the bottom of your nail and then less up at the top. So the next thing I'm going to do um, is get some of those studs and you're going to get some tweezers and your top coat and pick up one of the studs and get it wet on the bottom and just apply it onto the nail. Um, there's two ways you could do it. Either you can paint the top coat first and then put the studs on or paint the studs and then use the top coat and try to go around it. You just don't want to paint right over the studs with the top coat because then it'll just look gross. You're going to just press it into the top coat. So for this one I just put three randomly and for this nail um, I'm using studs too, do the same exact thing 
and I'm putting it in the middle of this little clear diamond on my nail. Just push it in. And then get your top coat and just paint around them. And for my thumb, I'm going to get two studs and put one in the bottom center. And then a second one right on top of it. And get your top coat. And then uh, the nails where there weren't any studs, just add some top coat. And that's it.